<laughs> Yo! Today, we're going to talk about learning algorithms. Woohoo! There's nothing fun about learning algorithms. Well, I'll tell you what's not fun. Let's say you average 20 seconds, but suddenly you have this really easy solve and you come to your last layer in less than five seconds. And then you see this OLL you learned yesterday, but you have to think about it and you mess it up. You get really angry, you stop cubing and you get depressed. Well, that's not so fun, right? So what exactly went wrong with this solve? The problem was that we needed to think when we saw the OLL. Well, of course we need to think when we want to do an algorithm. Haha! <laughs> Actually, we don't need to think at all. I'll quickly explain. When we are doing solves and master an algorithm, we use something called muscle memory. We see a case and we do an algorithm without even thinking about it. That's what makes us cuber so fast. In reality, we don't think a lot, we just solve. It is our muscle memory that solves for us. Ah, it's, tell me how to train this muscle then. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a muscle though. It's a part of your memory that controls your muscles when you're doing certain skills, like playing the guitar or typing on your keyboard. You don't think about moving every finger when you're typing, you just do it. But in this video, I will teach you how to learn your algorithms the best way and to get them in your muscle memory as fast as possible. And if you apply everything I'm going to talk about, you might potentially save yourself hours upon hours of learning and relearning algorithms. So I. Let's get right into it. The first tip I can give you is to do an algorithm a lot of times. For example, if you're learning a G-perm, in the beginning, doing the algorithm will need a lot of thought and focus. But after you do it a lot of times, you will actually do it without really thinking about it. And the fault that a lot of cubers make is when they get to the point where they don't think about an algorithm anymore and just do it, they stop. They think, oh, it's in my memory, I've got it. But they're wrong. wrong. That's not the case. Once you get to the point where you don't think about an algorithm anymore, do it half as many times more. For example, if it took you 40 times to do a G-perm before you could do the G-perm without thinking anymore, do it 20 times more, just to ensure to get it into your muscle memory. But we need to be cautious of this, and that's when we get to point two. Muscle memory doesn't distinguish between good and bad habits. So make sure the algorithm you learn is a good one from the beginning. Just make sure that you get your algorithms from good sources like AlgDB or Cube Skills from the god Felix himself. Learning bad algorithms is basically just wasting time because you'll switch to a good algorithm in the end anyway. So, but the same goes for the finger tricks of the alloc. So just make sure that when you're doing an alloc, you're doing it the best way possible. Or you can just watch a finger trick video online. The internet is full of them. But also make sure that the algorithms you're learning actually make sense to learn. For example, when I just finished OLL and PLL a few years ago, I didn't really know what to do next, so I just went to the next thing on LDB, which was ELL. Spoiler, you don't need ELL at all when you're averaging 20 seconds. So I learned all of the Alex, and because I never used them in solves, I just forgot all of them. So guys, make sure you do your research. Right? The next tip I can give you is to learn your algorithms in groups. I'll explain. Let's say you're learning OLL. By the way, I'll soon upload a video on how you can learn full OLL in one month. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Thank you. Instead of doing a random OLL once in a while, it is better to learn a group of algorithms at once, but only if that group makes sense. For example, all of the square shaped OLLs, all of the P shaped OLLs. Just make sure you can make a logical group from the algorithms you're learning. The reason for this is that it's better for your brain to categorize your alex, so it becomes easier to retrieve the alex when you need them. You'll have a faster responding time when you get the case in a solve. Cause you know right away whether you know the case or not. If it's a P, I, I know it. There's also a lot of mirror cases that are almost the same and easy to learn both at once. But even if you applied everything I said so far, you will quickly run into problems. Cause you might get an alex that you just learned but still take a lot of time to think of the algorithm before you actually do it. How come? The problem is that you haven't trained your brain yet to do the algorithm once you see the case. You need to make sure that when you see a case, you immediately trigger your muscle memory to do the alg. And the only way to do this is by training to see a case and doing the algorithm. But let's say you're learning OLL. If you just learn the case, you will get that case in about 1 out of 50 solves. If you can only train your brain 1 out of 50 solves to see a case and doing the algorithm, it will take a lot of time. Instead, we can use training tools. All right, so for this example, I'm using this side, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of sides that do the same thing. The nice thing about this side is that it already groups the algorithms for us. So let's say we're working on the fish shapes. So we select all of them and then we can press train and it will provide you with a scramble with one of the four cases. So every time you do the scramble, you get to train one of the four cases. So basically you're forcing yourself to get a case you're practicing. Pretty cool, right? This is how you can train to trigger your muscle memory more easily. 
And the last tip I can give to you is to repeat. Repeat the learning process until you're 100% sure that the algorithms are in your brain ready to explode to your hands once you see the case. You will get the case now and then during your solves. And eventually this will be enough to maintain the algorithms in your brain. But in the beginning, you will need to do some practice. And with that said, it's really, really, really important that you do an algorithm once you get a learned case in a solve. Even if it's slower at first, stop your timer and do the alloc. Because if you don't, you will eventually forget the alloc. And if you've forgotten the alloc, just make sure that you relearn it. Is there time for a bonus tip? All right. In this book, there was a research that concluded that you will have a way easier time remembering things when you learn them while having fun. So guys, be sure to always have fun. Okay, so quick recap. Do your algorithms a lot of times, use good algorithms with the right finger tricks from the beginning, and make sure that the algs you're using are actually useful, train your algs in groups, use a training tool online, practice your algorithms a couple of times, and make sure you're having fun. I hope you liked the video, and if you do, please like. If you wanna see more of me, please subscribe. Thank you. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.